Hello recruits, Cosmogram Z here. Today I am back for three more random games on Cool Math. Now, last time I got stuck with some duds. Hopefully this time it's a bit better, and I'll try to make this one a lot shorter. So, uh, if a game ends up taking a long time to be getting through, I'll just go ahead and go to the next one, or end the video, depending on which one that is. And, oh yes, we have to wait on the non-existent ad. Thank you, ad blocker. Whew. To be honest, I kind of like this. It's uh, more of a variety thing on the channel. Gives me the chance to step away from Minecraft and Terraria and even more Minecraft and do something a bit different. Districts. This looks like an actual game. Oh, and we got some uh, generic music going on. Information. Okay, we didn't need to read that. And we're getting called. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm actually gonna. I'm gonna show this on YouTube. Everyone, you gotta diss Dominus Gaming right here, okay? J just totally roast him in the comments, okay? Roast him in the comments. Call him whatever you want. A fatty, a mini, poo poo. Oh, but that's actually a very important piece of information, though, so make sure you read that. Let's keep the music on. Doesn't seem like it's gonna be that loud, and we have lots of levels. We are not going to play all of them. We'll play the first ten, why not? Okay. Jerry. Hello. Welcome to the Districts. Let me teach you how we do things. On the game board, there are houses containing voters. Clients will ask you to divide up the houses into districts. Draw lines between the houses to divide them up. In each district, the party with the most voters wins. Alright. We'll start you off with a really simple one. Reginald. Hi there, I'm Reginald, the leader of the Orange Party. We want you to win us a majority in this area with two equal districts. Each district should contain three houses, and the Orange Party must win both. Good luck. Okay. So we're just drawing dividing lines. Okay, number two. Congratulations, you handled the last request very well. Just a few more things before we carry on. Goals for each level appear at the top and in the bottom of the screen. You can clear all of your lines by clicking the raindrop button in the top right. Finally, there are two rules that apply to every single area. All districts in an area must contain an equal number of houses. Okay. Every district must be won by a party. There can be no ties. That's all. Okay. So, orange majority. Three houses in each district. That's about the same thing we did last time. There we go. Cool stuff. Let's get to the next one. Alright. Uh -huh. Orange majority. So we can actually just do this. Because, yeah. Still got an orange majority. So we're getting into some uh, pretty dirty politics here. Alright. Alright, we can still do that. Alright. So even if there are more purple voters, we can make the orange party win. Just look at that. Okay. So, three houses in each district. All right. Ooh, that might be tough. We can't just... Huh, I wonder if we can do that. No, no, we can't do that. Let's do that. Five more levels. Three houses in each district. Yeah, okay, we do that. Uh, that. And then we do that. Hey, there we go. It's not really the majority, but we still win. Okay, keep going. A promotion. Okay, let's see if we get a promotion. Four houses in each district. Alright. Okay, this is simple. Okay. 
so uh, wait. I thought we had an orange majority, so you want to. Oh, wait, no, that's a purple majority right there. What am I doing? Alright. There we go. That wasn't too bad. You're doing a great job. Okay, four houses in each district. Uh, so we can't have ties. I have to plan this one out very carefully. We can do that. Then we can do that. Yeah, there we go. There we go. It's pretty easy. Okay, we'll do three more levels. Four houses in each district. Alright, this should be easy enough. Probably. There we go. There we go. And we should... Oh, yeah. These are two ties. We can't have any ties. Let's just delete all this. Okay, so. Hmm. How's there one orange majority? Oh, the whole thing's a majority. Alright. Ah. Let's think here. Well, if we give this group that, we can actually do this. And there we go. Alright, this is not too bad of a game. I actually like this. Yay, ooh, seven in each district. Alright, we're getting pretty thick now. Ah, how to do this? Well... Tricky. We could do this. Okay. We could give the majority to the purple guys here. And then... Yeah, there we go. So, they get the majority there. And then, orange ones there. Alright. So, let's do... Let's see what level are we on. Okay, let's do the, the next two. And then we'll be done. So, I, I like this. This is a nice little puzzle game. Abergravy. I just noticed the name of this town. All right, five houses in each district. Uh, okay. Now we can give the majority to purple here, but that gives us the win. There, there we go. All right. Okay, let's do one last level. What? Okay, Farthing Lake. Oh, I guess the name changes every time. Never mind. All right. So, orange majority, five houses in each. So, well, we can do that. Okay. And we can do that. There we go. All right. Let's see, does anything? Oh, Lord Fergus. Okay, so. Doesn't matter. That was actually a pretty fun game. I I like that. I like that. We might we might come back to this for its own video. I doubt it, but I may like it that much. Who knows? I'll probably just finish it off screen. But anyways, next game and no more PewDiePie references. You should still subscribe to him though. Okay, Orb Three. Whoa. Wait. Wait. What? Okay. So, the object of orb is simple. You must guide the orb through the level to the goal. You do this by simply clicking on the orb and dragging it to the green goal zone. But the orb must not hit a wall or you will have to start again. You don't always have to carry the orb. You can drop it and pick it up again. The orb is not the only thing you can carry. There are crates that um, you can pick up that can be dropped on switches. The orb can change color. Depending on the color, you can do different things. The orb will change when it hits color changers. Okay, so black's normal, gets bigger, gets smaller, can go through yellow walls, and can move some walls. Alright. Try to remember that. Wait, what does red do? Okay. Continue the game. Ah, uh, it's gonna make us do this. It's gonna, yeah, it's gonna make us do this. So, we gotta wait again. Not good, but let's see. Goal. Okay. Switch. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I open the sitch. I think it means switch. We already have typos. Orb. Oh, it's orb three. Okay. So, new game. Radical music.
Okay. That music is a bit loud, but uh we'll see what we can do. Alright. Oh yeah, we gotta hit the yellow thing. You know this isn't too bad. I don't hate this very much. We'll, we'll, we'll do 10 levels, how about that? I like that death sound. Okay, no, no more of that. We are going to turn off that music. This is quite the loud game, and my microphone seems to be randomly getting louder and softer, so we'll have to work around that. So, we are thick. No, we are small. And now we are dead. Okay. That was that was pretty tough. All right, next level. I'm glad. We oh, I'm glad we turned that music off. Okay. That's not what you're supposed to do. Okay. What do you? What are you supposed to do? Uh huh. Okay. Now we can drag this over here, and then we can go... Ah! Dang it. Alright. Let's try that again. Upsy daisy Boopsy doopsy No, stop. Good boy. Okay, let's be slower this time. And... There we go, next level. Level 6, okay. Uh. Oh, so I can't move it? What does red do? What does red do? Oh, okay, I see what we do. So, automate that. Excuse me, but what do we do? I do not know what to do. This is strange. What? What? What does red do? Is red bad? Okay, I'm assuming we don't want red. So. Let's put this thing on here and try this again. Okay, so take no take it off. Nah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't matter. doesn't matter what we do. Okay, get over there. The controls for the tray are fin finicky. Okay. Uh, restart level. Okay, put this there. Put this there. No! Oh my word. Restart level. Guys, I'm telling you, the controls for the box are something I do not like. Well, of course. Well, of course. Well, let's see if we can get there alive if we stick to the non red z. Yeah, see, it's not letting me drag the box. It is so inferior. Infuriating. Alright. Box, get on the button. Good boy. It's supposed to start on the button. What am I doing? Restart level. Okay. Go on the button. Get off the button. Get on. Get off. Get on. Yes. What? What am I supposed to do in that case? Do do I need to hit all of the red things? Is that what I need to do? <laughs> I don't know what I need to do. Come on, restart. Okay, get on there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how to do this. There are no instructions uh, on how to do this. 
So, uh... Do we just... What do we do? What... Honestly, what do we do? You know what? Let's just... No. This game has loud music, weird sound effects, and I don't like it. Next game. Alright, so yeah, we're not, we're not messing with that anymore. And we gotta wait again. And it's called The Wolf's Sheep and Cabbage. That name intrigues me. At the same time, I feel like I've played this a very long time ago, but I don't think I have. So, we'll see. Please don't be... Oh, okay, so this is like a generic game. Oh, uh, so this is another one of those riddle games. It's just... It's just a riddle game. Alright, and it's counting up extremely fast. Okay, so... First, put the wolf there. Oh, whoops. Um, okay, start. Start, okay. Put the shape there. Do that. Put the... No, put the cabbage there. Cabbage there. Do that. And do that there. Do that. And do that. And do that. I succeeded. Wait, is that it? That is it. That is the entire thing. That. Yeah, no, that's the entire thing right there. Alright, well. Guys, that was three random cool math games. <laughs> if you enjoyed, please make sure to smash, obliterate, whatever that subscribe button for more. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, recruits.